Well, I love photographing and uh, then painting musicians in action, but uh, for me, those quiet moments when they are in thought and uh, really uh, so involved in the music, maybe it's somebody else's music, I think that's magical and it sort of tells me a lot about the music. Like this is Bradford Marcellus at the Jazz Festival here in Detroit uh, at a quiet moment when he was listening to someone else play and deep into it. I really appreciate that type of thing. and I, That's what I'm trying to accomplish is show the musician and the music. I guess I can't separate the person that plays the jazz and the jazz. There's no jazz unless you have someone, a, a thinking person who's uh, adventurous and, uh, and yet grounded. And that, that's just fascinating to me. And I learned so much probably listening to them talk to each other. Uh, that, that's the greatest pleasure I have, is when they get together and share stories and laughs. Man, uh, that's a good time. That's, uh, that's a rich experience. It's, it is jazz when they talk <laughs> to me. That, when we hear the music, that's the result of what goes on behind the scenes. A photograph is, is, um, is a process. You're recording something in front of you. You have to put yourself in front of that. And uh, that's the job. And then uh, and you, are, you put the camera up and you're behind, you lose yourself because the camera's in front of you. I love that part of it, losing myself behind the camera. Because if people aren't looking at you, they're looking at the camera. It emboldens you to walk in and get in front of people and do things. Um, I really appreciate John. He's always a, around uh, us. Uh, he's there to capture, to try to really capture the spirit of what we do. Um, and I think that really shows in the photographs that he takes of us, uh, the poses, the lighting, um, uh, the other kind of reflective looks often musicians have that he's able to capture because he's really paying attention and really trying to get inside of what we do. And I really love him for that. I had a chance to go down and uh, travel around in the South, went into a little town in Jonestown, Miss Mississippi, and met these remarkable people. They had very little. Uh, they took me in. They talked, they, I found truth with these people. Uh, just, uh, they knew how to laugh. Uh, they listened, they looked at you when they talked, and you felt you were, you know, it, it, it changed my life. No, I, I decided I was in a place where I could move on with my life, and, uh, and my dream was always just to paint. Uh, I can't describe the experience of painting. Uh, I can get so frustrated, and I can fail so many times in a row. I can spend a week doing nothing but painting and feeling. But the process of working at it, all of a sudden, it comes through, and all of a sudden, it's a miracle. And it's better than you ever could expect you could do. This is a woman uh, who was in her 70s, late 70s, maybe she was 80 years old. But she came in with this great dignity, this uh, idea that uh, she was beautiful. Uh, it, was, it was an awesome thing. I would give her a ride home. She was living downtown in uh, some senior housing. And she told me her story that she had been a dancer at the Cotton Club in its heyday in, in Harlem. Uh, I'm holding the uh, first sketch I did for the Jazz Festival poster for last year. Uh, it is a generic guy, not a real person, although I was uh, used some reference from I had of jazz players. I just want to show the, uh, it, it should have color to be a poster, and I wanted to, to show some strength of the musicians, and so I just had them blowing. And uh, you can see uh, 
it's, it's loose. I had to leave a little room, put the, the copy to let you know it's a festival. Well, sometimes you get in what they call the zone, and you can't do anything wrong. And it's so easy, and everything is magically, you can use the wrong brush, and you get a little piece of that brush, hits the canvas, and it's perfect. And that's the same thing with their music, but it takes a lot of stuff to get that point where you, you get in that zone. And when you get two or three of those guys in the zone together, and they enter and they play off each other, and you happen to be there, because it's probably never gonna happen in a recording studio. If you happen to be in there, that's the reason you go to jazz clubs. Be there that, that evening. And you know it because you can see the joy in their faces afterwards. They knew they did something. The same thing is with a painting, you have it afterwards. There it is, the canvas. It's done. So other people can share it.